food matters is a global phenomenon and its origins are based very close to home. It was really a struggle uh, that we had in my own family. My father was unwell, he was on a lot of medication, you know, stressed out, burnout, chronic fatigue, depression, anxiety, and we were trying to find a way that we could help him understand more about the power of nutrition to heal the body. And he didn't really take us seriously, myself and my wife, so we decided let's make a film, interview some experts and bring that message to him and thankfully it was successful. <laughs> Once he saw the film, did he take it in and take it all on board? He did. He took it seriously partly because we spent our life savings <laughs> making it and he's an accountant, he's like, what are you guys doing? But he did take it seriously. He watched the interviews and had a huge shift. He, was like, he, he didn't realise the power that food could have on his body. In a matter of months, he was off his medication, he'd lost 25 kilos and was back to normal. It was a huge transformation. So, you know, with my dad's healing, it was such a great story because it meant that so many people could adopt a similar philosophy towards their health and help to, you know, rejuvenate and address some of the underlying causes that, that are um, attributed to chronic disease and those being nutritional deficiency and toxicity. So when he was able to cleanse his body and detox his body, plus address some underlying nutritional deficiencies, he was able to help activate his body's own innate healing capability. The core message is that you are what you eat, that what you eat literally becomes your body and your cells and can define whether you're healthy or whether you're sick and, and unwell. And even if you are unwell, there's so much that food and natural therapies can do to help under, to address the underlying causes of chronic disease and help to improve your healing capability. Did you ever imagine it would grow into such a big beast? Um, not initially, I think with all of that we've done since the Food Matters film came out was focus on how can we help bring this life-saving message to more people. And in this digital age, it's just such an amazing era because we can break down the barriers to content. We can bring education to people who need it most as long as they've got an internet connection. And we run lots of free events each year. And it's an exciting um, format in order to be able to bring this message to people. I unfortunately hear from a lot of people every day and our team does that are suffering and uh, that is is painful for us to hear and it's something that we really want to try offer people hope and give them education and the tools necessary in order to be able to take control of their health and that's something that will remain steady for, for the Food Matters mission. And as we are coming to understand, it is not just food, it is so much more. Overall, I think supplements can help address those gaps in our diet. If we haven't been eating well, or if we're under a lot of stress, supplements can help with that. And then as you start to address some of those underlying nutrition, uh, nutritional deficiencies in the body, you start to then focus more on mind-body techniques like breath work or meditation or mindfulness. And when you start to combine those two together, people generally start to have a little bit more of a spiritual awakening about how they see their life. So it's a very important connection and there's more people waking up to that for sure.